Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another story time for you guys and it's going to be a extra juicy one. I feel like I've spoke about something like this or something similar to this on my channel, but I don't remember. But I, as you guys can tell, I can't talk from the title. Um, so basically, well, first of all, welcome back. Thank you for um, subscribing and liking my video, supporting me if you have. Thank you so much. Um, I just wanted to say that before I get right into this story time. So basically, um, this situation happened like 2013. Yeah, so 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, so six years ago. Although I feel like it was in like 2014 too. A little bit anywho so at the time i was 19 so i had to be 2014 and um the other girl we're gonna call her a because her name starts with an a and um for the guy we're gonna call him s yeah i'm gonna do it like that i i would do names but i feel like i'm gonna get caught up and then end up saying the real name so anyways um so I met S when I was 18, my freshman year of college, and we met through Instagram. And I remember we used to message each other <clears throat> through Kick. If you guys don't know what Kick is, it's K I K. It's an app where you can kind of like message. It kind of reminds me of like BBM in a way. Um, and that's what people used back then. I don't even think Instagram had like. Did Instagram even have like DM at that time? I don't remember. But that was like the app that people use to keep in contact if you didn't want to give them your number. All you had to do was just give them your username and that's it. Um, so yeah, we were messaging each other and at the time I lived in Westchester and S lived in Brooklyn and I think he still does live in Brooklyn. Um, so we were looking to meet or whatever. Obviously we kind of like were interested in each other. And... Um, one day i finally met him in the city this was in the fall time of 2013 and we met i remember i took the train to grand central and then i hopped in a taxi um he gave me the address to his job so basically i met him at his job this hair extensions is so heavy on my head anyways so um i met him whatever and i was like oh my god like um, obviously I thought he was cute at the time now I don't even care about him um, so whatever we took pictures and stuff and I thought he was like this really really nice sweet guy and he wasn't just another pretty boy um, he basically like played me I remember like um, I took pictures with him and I think I posted it on my Instagram and I would be like, why aren't you posting me? Because he would kind of treat me like I'm his girl, but he wouldn't made it. Like, nothing was established. And looking back, I'm like, Shannon, like, you have to be dumb because it's like, well, like, what was I thinking? I don't even know. So, um, he would never post me. And then I, like, one day he posted a picture with this girl, his arm around her. And I was like, who's that? So keep in mind, S is a year younger than me. So at the time I was 18, he was 17. So he was still in high school. Um... And he was like, oh, that's my friend. I'm just like, that's like the only girl that you have on your page. And like, at this point, I was kind of like confused. Um, and, um, you know, we're, you know, whatever, like we messed around and we did what we did. And, um, like he would continuously like tell me, if you hear bang in the background, it's because my grandma lives in the kitchen. Cooking something. But, um. So he would always tell me like, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship. I don't want a relationship, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, okay, like, but we did this, 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 but you're not ready for anything. And obviously at the time I was dumb. And I was like, all right, whatever. Like I was mad. And then literally 
two months later so this happened like september october of 2013 come november he starts dating this girl named a a is from the city she is from queen so um i peeked that they were dating for like a minute like a few months or so maybe almost like a year or maybe just a year and i was so confused because i'm like why didn't he choose to be with me like why did he want to be with her and i'm like you know what like maybe it's because of the distance and because i live far but then i'm like distance isn't really anything like if you really want somebody you'll do anything you can to be with them so i was jealous but you know i paid him no mind um and then one day us had wrote me on kick and he was like flirting with me trying to talk to me and i'm like aren't you in a relationship with a and then he kind of like disregarded it so um one day so one day a not a s wrote me and um he sent me a picture of his to me and um i don't know why i didn't save it in my phone i should have because in the long run like down the line i had told a that he that s sent that to me and i had no proof and i wish i freaking saved it but i felt like a creep saving it because he's he wasn't my man so um basically he was trying to like link up with me and mess around we're just gonna say mess around for youtube purposes but y'all know what i mean so um i was just like no so this was the first time that i actually started telling like females about their man like when they would hit me up because at the time i always felt like that girl that a guy would always go to while they had a girlfriend like i was never that girl that a guy would cuff but they would always come to me when they wanted some type of attention so this is the first time i ever like wrote a female on that like um like a situation like that i wrote alina i said her name good job shayna i'm gonna cut that out i wrote a and um i think i actually still have the dm because now instagram like it shows you like old dms from like years ago that i thought i would delete it and i guess it didn't delete oh no her dm will pop up what the heck whatever so basically I wrote her and she retaliate, retaliated in a way that any other female would retaliate if they're dumb. So basically she got mad at me. At first, at first she wasn't really mad. She was kind of like shocked and hurt and confused and like she was like call me ASAP. So she gave me her number and we're on the phone and she was like Shania and I'm like my name is Shayna. And like I'm not trying to be like racist or stereo what's it called stereotypical or whatever but a lot of dominicans say my name shania shania and it's shana um and she's dominican puerto rican she didn't know how to pronounce her name i feel like my name is super easy to pronounce um but anyways i was like shana so she was like hey shana so um how do you know s and i was like well me and him used to talk before you and him dated and she was like, okay, where are you from? Like, where do you live? And I was like, I live in Westchester. She was like, she was talking to her friend. She was like, Westchester? And they didn't know where that was. And I was like, it's further upstate. They're like, oh, okay. And I'm like, like, dummy. Anyways, so I feel like people who are from the city, like, they forget that there's other, like, areas of New York. And I don't know. But anyways, so, um... They're like, okay, and then he was like, well, did he, like, she was asking me questions that he did to me, and I was like, no, yes, no, no, whatever, and she felt a little bothered, and um, one of the questions she asked me, she was like, did he do it, like, during me and, me and him, and I was like, no, this was before, everything was before you, I'm just letting you know that this, what I sent you, is now during you, and she was like, all right, um, what else and then she was like well i'm gonna have to talk to him when i get out of work um she's like i appreciate you letting me know and i we kept in contact um so s got upset with me and he blocked me on instagram and then he writes me on kick and he goes oh um basically saying that i was lying and he's like oh my little cousin sent you that picture from my phone 
and I'm like, your little cousin, like, really, like, really wrong. I'm like, why would your little cousin, and I know he met his boy cousin, why would he send me a picture of your, like, I knew he was lying off it, but I'm like, well, nobody's gonna believe that, um, and I had sent screenshots also to A, and, um, whatchamacallit, I had already said her name in the video, so I'm just leave it, whatever. Um, so yeah, um, what was I gonna say now? Um, so yeah, long story short, A stayed with us, and I was like so irritated because I'm like, yo, like, I had him first, he played me, got into a new relationship, played her by trying to talk to me, and then she stays with him, and I was just like, like my freaking mind like exploded and i was so aggravated like i was beyond aggravated and um ever since then a always had some type of like issue with me i mean not now we're not cool but we're not like you know but like she always looked at me a certain way and then down the line i had dated a's um okay so a has a friend um that's a how do I try and like substitute her name her name starts with a Z so I'm gonna call her Z so A has a friend named Z and Z used to talk to a guy named G <laughs> and after G talked to Z G spoke to me and now Z and A are kind of like oh well she's talking to G and A is like well yeah she used to talk to S and it's like I felt like that whole clique knew me because of two guys that I talked to that were a part of that clique and it was like it was crazy how such a small world it was for the simple fact that it's like these people live in the city at the time and I lived all the way up there and I don't talk to any of them right now but I just found that crazy and after that I was just like I'm never gonna tell a girl again if her man is trying to talk to me and then I did again and that's a whole nother story time I got story times for days like I swear to god you guys like a lot of guys out here will literally like have a girl and try talking to me while they have the girl and I, I'm always that girl that like, guy wouldn't well I used to be because obviously I'm taken out but I, I always used to be that girl that a guy wouldn't cuff but he would go date somebody else and then try to talk to me while they were with them and I don't know if it's because they peeped how I am like I don't put up with nothing and maybe the girls that they're going for are dumb I don't know what the case may be but yeah that's the story time and to this day me and A don't follow each other on Instagram um I mean I don't have no bad, bad blood with her I remember at one point after the whole like beef happened she was like oh we should go out and get some drinks and at the time she just turned 21 and that was 20 and she was still i think she had just broken up with s because s cheated on her actually no I, from what i know he only cheated on her once with me when he was trying to talk to me while he was dating her but she kept breaking up with him i remember she broke up with him twice and she was like honestly like ever since that situation with you and him that you told me about like it's never been the same i can never trust him as much as i tried to and i was just like girl like he may be cute but there are plenty of fish in the sea. There are a million cute people in, on this planet. Pretty cute, whatever the case may be. Looks don't mean a thing. A guy would treat you like trash if he wants to. Whether you're pretty or you're not. And the scary part was that they both started to kind of look alike. Like, you know when you date somebody, people say that, oh, like, you guys are starting to look alike? For a fact, they were looking like brothers and sisters. I was kind of, like, mind-boggled. Because I was like, whoa, like, he's legit dating a girl that kind of looks like him. Just like the girl version. But anywho, that's my story time. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you will be alert whenever I do post a new video. It will be the bell button by the subscribe button on my channel. Follow me on my Snapchat and my Instagram. My Instagram is Roshana and my Snapchat is RoshayXO. It will be in the description. Also, intro and outro of this video. Don't forget to check out my lashes. It will be in the description at shanaaponte.com slash shop. And by the way, this shirt is from Fashion Nova. I did a clothing haul wearing this shirt probably like last year. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.